জাকির নাইক সহ বিভিন্ন ইসলামিক স্কলারের ইংরেজি লেকচার বাংলায় দেখতে সাবস্ক্রাইব করে আমাদের পাশেই থাকুন যারা ইতিমধ্যে সাবস্ক্রাইব করেছেন তাদের অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ ভিডিওটি যদি ভালো লাগে লাইক এবং শেয়ার করতে ভুলবেন না ইসলামিক কোনো বিষয় জানা থাকলে তা কমেন্ট বক্সে প্রশ্ন করুন দ্য নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ ফ্রম ব্রাদার সামির স্যাম ব্রাদার সামির ইজ আস্কিং দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন দ্যাট ইজ ট্যাট টু হারাম ইন ইসলাম প্লিজ আনসার আওয়ার বিলাভেড প্রফেট মোহাম্মদ সাল্লাম সাইড It's mentioned in Hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, verse number 7, Hadith number 5943, that Ibn Masood, may Allah be pleased with him, said that Allah curses the woman who practices tattooing and who gets tattooing done on herself and the woman that removes the hair from the face. and the eyebrows etc and the woman who makes artificial gaps between her teeth to look beautiful or changes the structure what allah subhanahu wa taala has given her and will i not curse those women who the prophet has cursed or allah has cursed in his book this hadith is very clear cut sahih bukhari on number 7 hadith number 5943 a similar message is given in sahih muslim volume number 5 hadith number 5573 that ibn masud may allah be pleased with him he said that may allah curse the woman that practices tattooing and the woman that does tattooing on herself so based on these two hadith both of them are in the sahihain it is muttafiq alay the highest category of hadith is a hadith which is available in sahih bukhari and sahih muslim it is the highest category of sahih it says very clearly that doing tattooing practicing tattooing or having tattoo done on yourself both are haram and allah curses such people tattooing means you take a needle and you inject dye one of the commonest way is that to take out blood and in place of the blood you put a dye maybe blue color or any other color this is called tattooing but tattooing if it is permanent it's called tattooing so anything which is permanent you inject a dye and you put a color whether it be blue color red color any color and you make a design or whatever it is and that dye becomes permanent part of your skin this type of permanent tattooing is haram in islam it's not permitted but if it is done on a temporary basis for example you use henna or you use mehndi or any color which is temporary for a few days then that is permissible especially henna is permissible mehndi you do a design as long as the design that you're doing with henna with mehndi or any other temporary color it is not against islam it should not be an image of an animal or a human being as long as it doesn't break the rule of the islamic sharia it's permitted but permanent method with a needle injecting dye or there are new methods now if it's permanent color using any sort of design if it's permanent it is changing the creation of allah subhanahu wa taala this is prohibited in islam